Good morning all, welcome along to this video walkthrough of our 2002 Willoughby Manor. This is a 35 by 12 2 bed. It's got double glazing gas central heating, it's priced at 10845 Just going to give you a quick look around the caravan, show you the layout and the condition of everything and point out a few bits and pieces, so let's get on. So you join me here in the living area, just as I adjust the camera, there we go. Um, living area, sort of dining area, TV area, all that sort of stuff. We've got a fitted seating area, as you can see, around the offside of the caravan here in the living area. We've got sun shining in, so try and block the sun a little bit so it stops the glare. But um, I've hit my head twice now on the dining light as well, so it's all going really well. But the seating here, yes, it's a bit dated in terms of its uh, floral upholstery. Um, what can you do? That's just how it's based, uh, how it's done. Um, but it is uh, perfectly fine there's no really bad rips or holes or really bad stains on it or anything like that so yes it's dated and cosmetically um you know you could have something a little bit more modern uh, but as it is it's absolutely fine to keep as it is there we could recover it in a more plain fabric if we wanted to but if we're looking to try and keep the budget down um, we'll keep the cost down sorry at a lower budget then obviously we can keep that as it is without a problem. Same goes for the carpet really, the carpet's original and um, yeah there's a few marks on it um, down here in the dining area as you can see um, but I mean it's nothing too bad so it could stay but at the same time you put a new bit of carpet down in anything it always looks that much nicer. So back in 2002, around 2002, 2001, 2000, the manor was made. Quite a, a glamorous uh, top-end caravan, really, uh, with nice spec with the double glazing gas central heating. And you've got these roof sort of braces along the tops, just cosmetic, just for show. Um, all the frills on the uh, post, um, the pelmets and things like that. Um, so it's all was quite well uh, built. Lots of pieces fitted to the caravan to make it feel luxurious. You've got this bay window around the front of the caravan here, as you can see with the bay window shelf and then looking around to the offside there you've got a large window as well and then we've got wall mounted storage as well which is quite handy to have plus a little glass coffee table here in front of me over there we've then got a tv area so that's got a spinning top um, so I guess they thought that was helpful at the time so you can spin your TV around I suppose uh, with some storage below and then we've got a gas fire on the right hand side as well it is the sort of wood that's going to delaminate so as you've seen in some of the videos with the delamination you're going to get that on this wood uh, because obviously it's not they're not kind of um, proper walnut doors or, or whatever you want to call them they're, they're the standard caravan doors that then got the the plastic stuff on them so you're going to get a bit of delamination de which i'll show you as i go around uh, but won't keep going on about because it is just a caravan thing so on this sort of age caravan uh, you're not going to probably get doors everywhere to replace them. Um, if they're really bad and they need trimming, then we can help with that. Uh, but generally speaking, on this sort of age caravan, there you're going to leave most of the things probably roundabout as they are. We have, if you notice, got a patio door here. So uh, that comes in here from the door side. So we've got patio door as well as the standard side uh, exterior door, single door. And then we've got really what is a dining area. So you would usually have a dining table and chairs there. Uh, as it is, that's that's not fitted. Uh, might be something we could do for you potentially, um, but depending on what, what you want us to do with the caravan. Uh, but there is a, a dining table and chairs that would be going there. And then over the top, we have got a light, although unfortunately it looks like the glass fitting is broken so we're probably going to need to change that light fitting and you can tell from that they go and kind of went with like a an oil lamp sort of look and you can see with the wall light as well there the wall lamp and dining light um but we did we obviously probably not going to get something similar uh, but we can obviously change that because it's unfortunately broken bit of delamination here so this is what i'm talking about um with this stuff coming off i mean really you're probably just going to take that off leave it as it is or maybe paint it that's over the top of the radiator so the warmth from the radiator is just sort of cracked over time just part of the process um you can have a bit of that in the kitchen as well but coming on to the kitchen you can see here uh, we've got an integrated fridge freezer over there we've got a radiator on my right hand side there is that big radiator there serving the living area as well as the gas fire and we've got like a pin board there as well just in case you want to um, do any pin boarding um, sink over there with the kitchen window of course all fairly standard stuff with our oven there on the left hand side got under cupboard storage um, delamination there as I said you can see with the cupboard unit coming off there 
it's really standard stuff on this sort of aged um, caravan, really, with it being... Uh, well, Willoughby's do get it a lot with this sort of thing because they, they've got that kind of intricate design of all the doors and things, the way that the, the colour of the wood is. Um, it's just part of the process, as I've said before, in many videos that we do uh, that feature that sort of thing. So we've got a door here that separates off our living areas from the bedroom areas. And as we come through, we've got this standard carpet here. We've got our exterior door on the right-hand side there. And if we go to the back of the caravan, we then find our main bedroom. So a good-sized main bedroom. It's got a bay window off the back of the caravan as well as you can see which you'll see a little bit more when we go outside but it's got that bay window shelf but just gives us that extra little bit of uh, display area in the window space i do think with something like this you've got pretty heavy curtains as you can see which really sort of almost block half the half the window space there so in an ideal world i sort of look at it and think be nice to have some smaller curtains or maybe just put some blinds on the windows there just so that you're getting that more natural light coming in which would probably be um, a little bit more uh, beneficial so we've got storage up and above the bed, as you can see, and around the sides. So quite extensive storage going around there. Same style doors as you've got in the kitchen and living areas. We've also got a lift up bed. Uh, this mattress on here looks perfectly fine. Uh, lift up bed. The, the bed sort of holds, as you can see. Usually the mattress can be a bit heavy and... Um, and the non-standard caravan mattresses they can't always hold them up but that one does hold there and you've got some storage underneath the bed so that's really handy to have if you're putting sort of suitcases and things like that in there if i then spin around we've then got our wardrobe storage as you can see we just got that kind of mirror in the middle and then uh sort of glass sides with the curtainy bits in the mid in in the uh, in the through the glass that was sort of like again it's sort of like a feature when they built the caravan which made it quite luxurious and then over in the corner here We've then got an ensuite toilet as well. A bit of staining to the carpet. I think always if you want to have a bit of vinyl put down in the toilet there, maybe the bathroom we'll see in a minute. Um, I think that's probably recommended. Nobody really wants carpet in the uh, bathroom these days, do they, or around a toilet? Certainly not advisable. But we can leave it as it is, you know, just talking options really. Coming out of there then, and we'll turn to our right-hand side, we'll find our twin room. So this currently has just set up with no beds in here. Um, so we could fit some single beds if you would like to, or you could take uh, this room just as it is and use it for storage, or you could have a double bedroom in here instead if you wanted to, or a small double. Got some storage on the wall there, and then a wardrobe unit there. And then coming out of there, turning back up to the bathroom, or towards the kitchen here, we've got the bathroom. Very rusty radiator in here, which needs replacing, so we do that as part of our service. And then, as I said, we are onto carpet in the bathroom again, like we are on the ensuite. So I think a bit of vinyl down in the bathroom would be a lot nicer. In here, we've got a uh, like one of the half baths. So this one's um, currently missing its sh uh, tap mixer by the looks of it. So you've got a shower hose um actually it just needs just needs a new one i'm just thinking what's going on there um they just poked the hose down there needs a new towel um tap mixer there which would then serve your um shower and then it would obviously be if you wanted to have a little sit down in this bit of a half bath and there is space there to be able to sit down if you want to and then we've got obviously a sink and a toilet in here so two toilets in here with the ensuite in the master bedroom there as i say carpet in the two um but in the bathroom in the ensuite, which we could change with vinyl if you wanted to. You've got some rust on radiators. That one's particularly bad. If you look at that, that's pretty rubbish. Um, but with the way the caravans come into us, we give them a clean through and a wash off on the outside. But other than that, they we just put them on display. Everyone wants to do different things. Some people want to do their own carpets. Some people want to do their own vinyl or change their own radiators. So we can do lots and lots of things. A lot of it as well is included in the price of so things like these rusty radiators. We would change with the price. We're not looking to add on for doing bits like that. We do a gas water electric test on everything as well to make sure it's all working and safe we can handle delivery and all those sorts of things so um if you've got any questions about the service or the caravans then please let us know but just for now i'm going to jump outside and i'll show you the exterior having a scan around the manor then as you can see got that bay window around the front of the caravan that was mentioned in whilst we were inside so it's got a pitched roof but it's a standard older style roof so it's not tiled but it is pitched can't really quite show you because even if I could just put the camera up there you would be blinded by the sun which is a nice problem to have um, but even so it's coming down the off side of the caravan you can see the panels here are all fairly decent there's no real problems there we've got a double downpipe system going on at the back here and some kind of um, light hanging off as you can see we'll probably just remove that and take that away there's not no 
nobody really usually needs a, a light sitting here on the offside of the caravan. Um, these sorts of downpipes have usually been made and fitted afterwards, but sometimes they're original, but really they're just plastic tubing that's been cut in just to take the rainwater away from coming out the ends, uh, maybe for a water butt or something. Here's that bay window that I mentioned on the rear of the caravan. Let's just sneak down here past the fence and I'll turn around. Bay window on the rear of the caravan there just gives us that space on the back with the uh, sort of bay shelf. Like I said, if you took those big curtains down and put some blinds or some smaller curtains on, I think you'd get more natural light coming in. That'd be nice. But no real panel damage or anything like that around the back. And then coming down the door side here, same thing again. Needs a new door handle, which we can sort out. Um, but the panels themselves, looking all around the caravan, are fairly clean and tidy. Drop down and show you the chassis whilst I'm here. It's a standard painted chassis, but as you can see, perfectly solid. with no problems to worry about. So that's been our Willoughby Manor. It's a 2002 35 by 12 two bed. It's got double glazing gas entry eating price at 10845. If you want to have a look, pop along and see us. You ask your questions, we can go through the process, what we can do, what we don't do. Uh, most of it we can do. Not many things we can't do, if I'm honest. Um, I think just with a bit of updating, maybe some new carpets, that would really freshen things up. A few radiators to replace and a couple of bits to clean up here and there. I think that'd be a really nice caravan, again, with double glazing central eating. Really good for uh, farmland use, maybe a self-build for a couple of years. I think that sort of thing would be quite helpful. If you've got any questions, please give us a call, give us a ring, come along, see us, send us an email, all those sorts of things. Hopefully we'll hear from you soon. Cheers.